All right, we are going to get started with dictation uh, vocabulary nine. So you're going to grab a pen and pencil. You're going to do numbers one through five. One through five. So if you need to, stop the video now to pause to get your things and pick up so we can start right from the beginning. Okay, number one. Your letter should have a closing and a signature. Your letter should have a closing and a signature. Your letter should have a closing and a signature. Number two, the greeting is also on your letter. For example, you can say, Dear Sam. Again, the greeting is also on your letter. For example, you can say, Dear Sam. One more time. The greeting is also on your paper. Sorry, on your letter. For example, you can say, Dear Sam. Number three, the heading has the date and address on the top left or top right corner. You can choose what side you want to have it on. Let me do that one again. The heading has the date and address. On the top left or top right corner. You can choose what side you want to have it on. This time, the heading has the date and address on the top left or top right corner. You can choose what side you want to have it on. Number four. Ready? Our teacher is having us 
write a persuasive letter. To a friend. Or family. Member. Because. Sometimes. People think. There are a lot of barriers So that one again Our teacher is having us write a persuasive letter to a friend or family member because sometimes people think there are a lot of barriers. Last time, our teacher is having us write a persuasive letter to a friend or family member because sometimes people think there are a lot of barriers. Number five. Many communities can benefit from the results of the responses to the census. Again, many communities can benefit from the results of the responses to the census. One more time. Many communities can benefit from the results of the responses to the census. Now, you will notice at the end of all this that a lot of these sentences require a lot of different punctuation. Some will require semicolons, commas, even quotation marks. We're learning how to do this. Do not feel bad if you did not get those all in there. Uh, you might be able to take some seconds to see if you need to add quotations anywhere right now. Uh, but yeah, don't don't worry too much about that. I would say maybe pause the video before you you see the answers. So before you know this goes right to change uh, to showing you the correct answer, maybe pause the video, look at your paper, see if you need to make any changes, and then you know keep the video going so you see the answers to uh, the dictation. Okay, you're all doing amazing. Having a great uh, an amazing day.